What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Oddity Acres. Today, we are headed down on a special trip. We are going to Wilder, Kentucky to see the world-famous Bobby Mackey's. If you are not familiar with Bobby Mackey's, check this out. Just off the eastern bank of the North Lowing Licking River sits one of the most haunted places in the United States. But there was this ball of energy, what I call an energy form, that manifested for eight minutes on camera. What do you think is inside of Bobby Mackey's? Oh, I, I don't think I know for a fact you're, you're dealing with demonic entities. Warning to our patrons, this establishment is reported to be haunted. Management is not responsible and cannot be held liable for any actions of any ghosts slash spirits on these premises. And Bobby Mackey's, I have history with. It's super haunted, but not only that, the music's great. We've heard there's a lot of demonic spirits here. Yes, uh, there's more than one. There's many up here. So you the know, long and short of it, f Bobby Mackey's. So aside from being featured on many TV shows, customers and restaurant goers have also reported weird sightings, uh, being touched, being scraped, uh, being pushed, hair being pulled. Um, there has been a lot of different reports of activity going on in this area, uh, and there is some speculation as to why. In the second half of the 1800s, it was used as a slaughterhouse, and it closed down right around 1890. Um, now, a lot of things were going on there, including people say satanic rituals uh, and occult worship, because outside of Bobby Mackey's, right beyond the train tracks, runs the Licking River. Now, because the river runs north, a lot of people believe that it holds spiritual power and energy. So one of the oldest known stories goes back to 1896 with a female named Pearl Bryan. Now, Pearl was urged by her boyfriend, Scott Jackson, to come up from Greencastle, Indiana, to Cincinnati to meet him as he was trying to arrange an abortion for her. Now, what ended up happening is that Scott and his friend, Alonzo Walling, tried to perform the abortion themselves, accidentally killing Pearl Bryan in the process. So in efforts to cover their tracks, the boys ended up beheading her in a field very close to the slaughterhouse. Now, it's also said that Jackson himself was involved in satanic rituals, and it's believed that they took Pearl's head after the decapitation and placed it in the well in the basement of Bobby Mackey's uh, as part of their ritual. Now, it's said that the boys would have got away with it, but they were able to identify the shoes on the corpse. Now, Jackson and Walling were found guilty of their crimes and hung. While on the gallows, Walling swore to haunt all of the surrounding area. Now, at this point, the slaughterhouse was demolished, and that lot sat there till about the 1920s when they erected a new building that was used as a speakeasy, a nightclub, and a bar. Now, during this time, there were countless stories of incidents happening, including a particular incident where two men got into a fight. One of the gentlemen was punched in the head, falling backwards, hitting his head on the radiator, dying on the floor immediately where he lay. Now, the most prominent of all the ghost stories that have been told, this takes place in the 1950s. Now, the owner of the nightclub at the time had a daughter. Her name was Joanna, and she fell in love with a singer that was playing at the bar. His name was Robert Randall. Now, Joanna became pregnant and intended to run away with Robert. However, her father forbid it. This led to Joanna's father killing Robert. Now, when Joanna found out, she was obviously distraught, so she poisoned her father. She wrote a poem in the attic, and she ended up killing herself in the basement of what is now Bobby Mackey's. Now, in 1978, after a long run of fatal shootings and stabbings and a lot of violence going down inside the nightclub, the authorities shut it down. Later on that same year, country music singer Bobby Mackey bought it and took it over as his music hall and honky-tonk. Now fast forward to today, Bobby Mackey's is known as one of the most haunted spots in America. People believe there's actually a portal to hell inside of this place. Television shows like Ghost Adventures and Portals to Hell with Jack Osborne have come to do investigations, and those are just a few. So we're going to take you inside, we're going to show you around, and we're going to bring you to the place that America calls the most haunted place in America.
Ladies and gentlemen, we made it. Bobby Mackey's. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we officially made it. After a four hour drive, nearly four hours, we made it to Bobby Mackey's in Wilder, Kentucky. We are sitting here right along the train tracks and right along the Licking River, right to the left hand side here. Uh, they in fact open up at seven o'clock. So we will be coming back here, going inside and giving you guys the full tour. All right, here we are. We are inside Bobby Mackey's. We have the hand stamp to prove it right there. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It's more like your normal honky tonk bar, but it is, uh, it's definitely weird to see, especially after watching all the shows. Uh, what do you think? Oh, it's really cool. Really cool, really neat, really country. Very country, yes.
All right, guys, so we are back at the hotel. We have had an awesome night checking out Bobby Mackey's, the most haunted place in America. We went, we got the shirt, and we got out. So hopefully we got out safely. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, you know, it was such a blast tonight, obviously going around and exploring all these cool haunted places, uh, you know, to make this vlog for you guys. So uh, make sure you like, subscribe, uh, and keep checking back in. We're going to have a lot of new videos coming up pretty quickly, um, especially as this weather breaks. Uh, I am ready to travel and ready to make some great content for you guys. So thanks so much for watching. Take it easy. We will talk to you next time.